you guys smell that? It's the smell of a new segment. Welcome to Web Dev Wednesday, a brand spanking new segment where each week I will be summarizing the changes I've made, the ideas I've had for old mate Randy Thought GG. Okay, and uh, you know, just shove into a nice tight little video for you guys. And uh, boy oh boy, do I have of things I want to get through today. First things first, can I get a drum roll please? Have a wookie what we got here. A Randy.gg knowledge panel, boys. They said it couldn't be done, but I done did it. And look, it's a Randosaurus Rex. Oh, oh. Rex? No, it's it's a Randosaurus. <laughs> Boggies. Hey, look at that. Be sure to go leave a five-star review. Hey. And would you look at that? Okay, right here. We are officially open for business. It still says closed. It's past 8 a.m., bitch. It's 9. Hello? Excuse me? How dare you? Okay, let's uh let's just go ahead. Okay. Pull one of these ones. Cheeky. There we go. Awesome. Yeah. Open. Hey, we are open, boys. Over at twitch.tv forward slash randy. Let's go. You can't see it? Oh, that's a rip. <laughs> I guess I'm the only one who can see it, huh? It's probably got something to do with the fact that um like this right here it just says that it's just it's just in the <laughs> it is in the entirety of australia <laughs> i don't know how to make it global because it's like it gives you an address right it's like wet when you good you know um should be right ladies and gents okay can I have your attention, please? Big changes are coming to the site. Massive, huge changes. I am, of course, talking about a full visual rework. I've been drawing up some designs, okay? And uh, I've settled on something that I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with. It's a work in progress. Still got stuff to do, uh, but it's getting there. I've just got a few more pages that I need to put up, and then I'll be ready to rumble. The one thing I am concerned about with this new design is this right here. This is going to be like how you get to other pages. You like click on these little things. I have to make that clear and like, I don't know how I'm gonna make like give intent for people to click on that right it's gonna be a bit a bit of a challenge but a challenge i'm up for nonetheless um so yeah that's gonna be pretty fun uh unfortunately we are sacrificing the beautiful <laughs> it had to be done Okay, it had to be done by sacrificing it for a more streamlined design. But hey, is what it is. It just really doesn't fit on mobile. So I was like, eh, time to eat the bitch. Think of something new. Still got some work to do before actually implementing that design. Um, but we'll get there. Also, what I've also managed to do, or not me, but old mate Baron. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. Uh, helped to be come up with, I say helped. He pretty much did the entire thing himself and just merge requested it. Awards. Existing awards for Streamlabs. Streamlabs. We've already got awards for Streamlabs previously why not just reuse the streamlabs api and just send a cheeky little alert every time a new donation or something comes in so that's what's happening right here it's working for uh the memberships so that comes through and then the donations as well it comes up on stream it works it's sexy let's see if i can do an example actually let me open up stripe and see if i can re-trigger something i don't know if i'll be able to um all right let's try resending one of these webhooks if i can actually do that is that gonna work nothing happened oh no there we go been showing your pussy tonight, yeah, baby, because I will be wanking so that's... my cock <laughs> when you get fucking naked. So that's the one-time donation. Quite lovely, quite lovely, it works. What the fuck is a cum beast? Oh God, oh fuck. Oh, don't say his name. Please don't say his name. You might just awaken him and you don't want to awaken the cum beast. Anyway, I can't remember who, but somebody pointed me to this absolute gold nugget of an article. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. Startups, right? Change logs. And it's a, uh, these guys, they do change logs once a week. Uh, and it's quite sexy. It's just, ah, uh, there's something so beautiful about just a nice, clear, succinct list of improvements. It shows progress. It shows that things are moving and taking shape. So that, ladies and gents, is our one and only goal for today. I said that is our goal. <laughs> so we're gonna be figuring out uh, how to implement the back end for change logs and uh, just see how those puppies are gonna work, right? Um, I don't really have a clue on where to start on this. I was thinking that maybe we do something like um, Markdown for Next.js and then we can literally just create like a uh, something in public, right? New folder in public. I'm gonna call it change logs. We're gonna separate them out into Arcana and Randy. Dg. So then we'll go v1, v0.1 or something like that. And we basically just write this whole thing out in Markdown. And then we write some sort of, uh, we can like read that in 
on the site somehow. You'll notice with the actual, with the new design of the website, uh, this is where I've got the change logs. I just got them down the bottom here. It shows like a quick little list of like the top three changes that have happened in the past week. Then you go cheeky little read more, rain.gg. This could also just be Arcana, depending on whatever I'm working on the most. Um, and yeah, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I don't think it should be too difficult. Like worst comes to worst, I can literally just hard code the shit out of it. All right, boysies, it's time to yonk some code and create some change logs. All right, so we've got remark and remark HTML. Let's figure out how the hell this works. Tag generation VG markdown files as a data source. The blog post is sorted in slash post as markdown files with front matter support. What does that mean? I don't know. Adding markdown in a file will create a new blog post. With the blog post, we use a mark and HTML to convert uh, the markdown files in HTML string and then send it as a prop to the page. Metadata of every post is handled by gray matter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go, <laughs> I've just literally looked at it. <laughs> I would have just looked at it and like, yep, I'm a genius. <laughs> change logs or change log? Change log sounds better. TSX or JS? Sure, it's just TSX. JS pussies. Let's just go ahead and <laughs> don't mind me. Nothing to see here, boys. So what's what's really happening here? I should probably just uh just install it and go from there. Downloads. All right. Let's yawn the bitch. Come to papa. We yawning out here, boys. Wait, did I? I just downloaded the entirety of. What the fuck is wrong with me? How did I do? that. Stop yawning. Stop yawning. How do I unyawn a yawn? I guess the easiest way to do that would be to goodbye. Let's continue on with this. So what am I doing? Mark down the HTML. Get rid of a lot of these things. Container, post body, header, post header, layout. Wait, mark, use HTML process markdown. We can put that in. Tills. Where is it? BI helpers. Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah, we can do that. Post title, get rid of that. Get post by slug, get all posts. Yoink. Now let's, let's, let's uh, take a look at it first. Matter from gray matter. Post, get post by slug. Okay, I see what you do there. Makes sense. So we'll chuck those bad boys in. All right, let's uh, get rid of all this formatting and literally just put the bare bones in. So router dot is fallback. Yeah, we can keep that. Yoink and yoink. Job well done. Job well done. We're gonna get rid of image. Content's gonna be the excerpt. Excerpt's gonna be a thing. Author, we'll get rid of. Cover image, we'll get rid of. So slug, title, date, excerpt, content. Author, we can get rid of author. We are now going to... So let's go over to where post body is. And we're gonna yoink this code. Getting there, getting there, almost there. Tell you what. Flashbang. <laughs> I actually kind of fuck with this light theme, eh? Just to like counteract it. There we go. Maybe if I recopy it again, something will change. Oh, something did. Why does that work all of a sudden? Maybe just needed a reload. All right, who cares? It works. Let's move on. <laughs> Damn, it's hard work copying code. I, I really can't take this light theme anymore. We should be ready to rumble almost. Now, how do I metadata the shit out of it? Is it gonna go off of title? What's it gonna do? I'm gonna call this test and we're gonna chuck some markdown in it. We're gonna do it. So I actually don't know how any of it gets interpreted. All I know that is it just does. Ah, okay, so you put the metadata up the top. Balls. Excerpt. I like men. Cover image isn't a thing. Date. Goodbye. And we can get rid of those. Title, excerpt, date. And then the content is of course in here. Yay. Content. Woo. Give me your content. All right. Now let's see if it works. No. Rest in peace. Ah, oh, there's an error somewhere. Well, definitely built the page. Come on, man. Why aren't you working? It's working. The slugs there as well. Props. Post. Oh, yeah. It's not called post, is it, boys? Why you gotta do me like that, bro? Look at that. Balls is here, boys. Hell yeah. Let's go. We've got change logs in its rawest form. Oh, that's awesome. That is beautiful. So now whenever I want to go create a change log, all I got to do is literally open up a new file. Bold. First thing that came to mind. All right. Copy that bad boy over. I'm going to call this Yeetus. I don't like men. We go to slash bold. <laughs> Apostrophe and don't. Ah, that's a good point. What a silly little mistake. I'm such a silly boy. <laughs> it's working. We got bold. We got tests. Got all these change logs, baby. Well, all that's really left to do is to format that nicely. It's there. The, the, the functionality is there. Once I get the new design up, I'm going to integrate it beautifully. It's going to work. It's going to be sexy. Until then, though, that right there is Web Dev Wednesdays coming to a close. Have a good afternoon or night or 
whatever the fuck it is right now. Bye-bye.